I will continue my studies, certainly, to those depths which science may penetrate when operating from theory, from a theory. Break it down for me, if you could. What is this theory you're operating from? Taken as a whole, the evidence presents an alarming assertion. The corruption of a mechanical construct with forces beyond natural science. Malevolent beings may roost in ordinary machines. Indeed, there are many such cases. As I'm sure you know, my thesis. As I'm sure you know, my thesis. Uncle, so-called extra-natural possession is not something I could determine with a test tube. <laughs> extra-natural possession. I'm still in the market for a place to live. My standards are getting progressively lower. At this point, I would settle for relatively few lizards. <laughs> it weighs heavy on my mind. This place seems nice. Does your family own another one? I shall ask when they return. I believe that will be next year. Which is no fucking use at all. What's next? I will tell you that the bolt you bought earlier, the one wriggling with writing in no human language, did leap out the window. And even now it rolls to some nefarious purpose. Could it be that this small part hung was to be reunited with the whole? Were you able to ascertain its direction? Towards Hobo Halley. 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 <laughs> Towards Hobo Alley, I believe. And seismic data corroborates a possible rendezvous. As preposterous as that may appear. I don't know how much more I can discern from this bits and bobs, from bits and bobs, whatever. I like to add in words here and there. We need to obtain a prototype of the machine, the beautiful hole. Back to Hobo Alley then. You still need to you still think there's something to find in Hobo Alley? Its seismic readings certainly pique my interest. They also piqued her interest. I didn't add the D. Pelican Alley may also turn up a few surprises if you have the time. I have enough parts to upgrade now. Work your magic. No magic, I'm afraid. That's my uncle's area of expertise. Hopefully science will suffice. I have 55 parts, and I wish to upgrade Taco's gun, and I only require 50 parts, so the deed shall be done. Taco's weapon needs a little work, I think. What? No, it doesn't. Taco, I didn't want to say anything, but... There too, Gabriel. And Claire tries another approach. Uncle. Don't you want a weapon that says sophistication? Greater sophistication, rather. Yes, but... Place the weapon in my care, Uncle. I will treat it with the proper reverence. Or reverence? Reverence. Reverence? Reverence. I don't know. That's it, good man. Now you may want to avert your eyes. Tommy Gun Plus. Weapon upgrade. This additional firearm has been tuned robotically. Nice. I need 42 parts to upgrade my rake. Unfortunately, I do not have 42 parts. I have 5 parts. Talk about something else. Alright, back to work. We'll see what else we can bring you. Sweet. Good hunting. So where do we go now? Back to um, Hubble Alley, I believe, would be the course of action to take. Roll the dice. 7. 14. Looking for a 20. Sweet. Whee! <laughs> I thought he actually sort of like broke out the glass originally, don't it? Just kind of like, he thrusts it so hard it kind of explodes in a final right of thrusting power in us. Yeah. That's how big that thrust is. Back to Obala. Onwards. Onwards! Onwards we go. Hey, check the shit out, guys. Aww. Oh. What are we going to say now? I was meant to be like stopping the parts every fucking 10 minutes and I've totally blown it by fucking going off on one there. Fuck it, I'll just do it the normal way. This time. It's kind of hard to stop it every, every like sub 11 minutes. Like, I'm too used to just like recording one massive set at once. I could record 15 minutes at once, I guess. That would be one way of doing it. So, yeah, check the shit out, guys. I am cutting down smoking, which you may have heard before. The mild weak sauce. And I have only had 3 6 today. Since I was up, um, what was it now? I was up at about 9 o'clock. And I've only had 3 6 cents, which is a fucking incredible record for me. Is that? That's like amazing shit. So I'm trying to limit myself to like 4 6 a day for the rest of this week, and then no 6 for the rest of the well, for next week onwards. So we'll see how that goes. I'm quite confident that's how it will go down. He straightens his lapels as you approach. Of course, of course. You must be from the academy. This, this about the grant, yes? 
We're out from the college now. No, we're not really Academicans. <laughs> Academicians. <laughs> he seems almost destroyed by the news. Oh. Yes, yes I see. Dr. Wimple, that is to say Dr. Ernold P. Wimple, at your service. I'd rather hoped you were from the an envoy of the old academy. I have paperwork in for a research grant, you see. A grant my pressing work desperately requires. How long has your documentation been in, Dr. Wimple? I attended the OA myself. The place is a madhouse, and I mean that in the literal sense. 27 years. I think you got your response. <laughs> I think you might have gotten your response then. Yes, I'm afraid you may be right. This is the trouble with founding a new field. One is constantly under siege by heretics and unbelievers. What is your area of expertise? What exactly is your area of expertise, Doctor? You might have seen some of my experience in this very neighbourhood. Many of them are ongoing. I am a urinologist. Yeah, guys, a urinologist. I'm not familiar with the uh, field. I study the effects of urine on things. So you pee on stuff. No, sir, I do not merely... Any layman may approach a suitable material and simply relieve oneself. There are very few who may say they truly urinate. What is the goal of urinology? What is the ultimate goal of urinology? We, that is to say, I, believe that a robot will pee of its own free will during our lifetimes. This will be incredible. Your lab is locked up? It looks like your um, lab is locked up. Yes, you are very observant. It's locked up, as you say, because of these cursed hobos and their hoboid excesses. They're everywhere, following my experience with their excretions. Pardon me for asking, but I'm fascinated. You don't want them to pee on your pee? The whole thing is very complicated, and I wouldn't expect you to understand it. These tragic, diseased men stand at the path of our science. Path of science. In the path of science. There we go, we got it. What I need are deeply immoral men, or women, of some combination, or some combination of the two, to make these damnable hobos urinate elsewhere. Perhaps in hell. <laughs> Such men and women will be compensated richly, sir. I am in possession of a certain... It looks up and down street. Furtively. Certain rare cards. Rare who? It's a scientist thing. New case, the Nobel P Prize. <laughs> Okie dokie. You want us to kill hobos? What, you just want us to kill some hobos? Goodness no. No, and I never would. Kill the hobos. <laughs> what would you do with grandmother? What would you even do with a grand? I've exhausted the scientific prospects of local area, I'm afraid. You've peed. I mean, really peed. On everything here. At one time or another, yes. Many things more than once. My studies are quite rigorous. Congratulations, I guess. My proposal to the old academy involved urinating directly on the sin wheel, Pelican Bay's infamous Ferris wheel. That is actually sort of awesome. Imagine someone peeing on something like that. Wouldn't it be amazing? Wouldn't it be important? Wouldn't it? No, would it? No. <laughs> Yes. Without the money, I've had to scale my research, I've had to scale back my experiments somewhat. But if I could obtain, via some means, a 1 to 64 scale replica of a sim wheel, I believe that I could accurately model the effects of urine on a larger scale. I'm always keeping my eye out for that Ferris wheel of yours, Dr. To Wimple. Okay, I didn't realise Gabe was such on the case. You know, he's always keeping his eye out for that Ferris wheel. You said you had a grant proposal. You said you had a grant proposal in place. True, it was glorious. Picture a giant urinate, urinating on a ferris wheel in the morning sun. He seems to lose his train of thought. Please continue. Alas, it wasn't to be. A less dramatic option would be to simulate the results using a replica of the ferris wheel. If you could find me a model of the sim wheel in your travels about time, I could make it very worth your while. Man, we're still on the lookout for your ferris wheel. Good luck on your pea search. Good luck on your peace search. Dr. Ernold P. Wimple purses his lips. 
More goals. I have too much goals. Here we go, guys. So we're now on the Hobo Hunt. Peril. Wiener. Lightning juice, that shit. Long back up. T Kemper, go! Oh, you suck, T Kemper. Right. Oh shit, oh, I don't know how much script that was, I'm paying attention to blocks. Attack up, eh? Right. 